Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today I am going to explain you about the topic invoice installments. An installment is a part of the invoice that specify payment due dates, amounts and other payment information. An invoice can have one or more installment. So what happens when we create an invoice, all the payment related information we give there, like what is the amount, date, payment terms, term date. By giving all this information, invoice installment is determined. Now, you can, uh, while creating an invoice installment, can also split an installment into two different days or two different payment methods. When you uh, split an installment, another installment is automatically created for half of the cross amount of the installment that you split. But you should notice this point that you can't split an installment that is already paid totally or partially or is on hold for any payment, right? Now, placing or releasing a hold. You can place and release a hold on installment. If you place and hold on installment, you can't pay that. You need to release that hold, then it will be available for payment. But the installments which are already paid will or partially paid, this placing and releasing a hold option will not apply there. Now, how invoice installments are recalculated? If you want to recalculate your invoice installment, you can just go to manage invoice option page and from there just enable the recalculate invoice installments option or else when both of the following conditions occur, like you have enabled the exclude tax from calculation option and you have manually changed a tax amount, then also your invoice installments get recalculated. While recalculating, what are the start date and payment terms which are used? Like if you have matched purchase order, yes, then start date will be the most recent of the following invoice date, term date or goods received date plus number of received acceptance days. The recent of the following will be the start date and payment term will be more favorable of the following invoice payment term or purchase order payment term. In the same manner, if you don't have purchase order matched, then start date will be most recent of the following. That is invoice date, terms date, goods received date plus number of received acceptance date and the payment term will be invoice payment term. So by using this start dates, start dates and payment terms are calculated for recalculating the invoice installment. Now we will go to the application and see how it is done in the application. Now, after logging to the application, go to Navigator, go to Tables, under Tables, go to Invoices, then go to Task List, from there go to Create Invoices. Give supplier here. Give supplier here. Give invoice number. Give amount. Then give invoice lines. 
give amount, give distribution combination here. Select account. Select any expense account here. Okay. Now go to invoice actions and that go to manage installments. Now under this manage installments, you can see that only one installment is coming. Why? Because we have given payment term. Let me show you payment terms as immediate. That's why only one installment is there. So going back to invoice actions, manage installments. Just select this installment. You see that this place hold and split installment type get, uh, gets activated. If you want to split this uh, installment into two, then you can just select and select that is already selected installments and just click on split installment. You can see that two installments have been created by half amount. Second installment is created automatically after we clicked on split installment. So this is how you can split the installment. If you want to split this installment also, you can just click select the installment and split installment. You can see that again, half amount in half, it get split. So like this, you can split the installment and you can also edit here uh, date. If you want to uh, make it make it do for an awesome another date, you can just edit and change the same. You can also give payment method, bank account. You can, after splitting the installment, you can edit the same also. Now going to a uh, concept of hold and release. Now, how can you hold or release us installment in the application? In the same manner, just select the installment on which you want to place hold and click on this place hold. When you click on this place hold, you can see that the sign is coming that that is showing that this installment is, is, is on hold. That means you cannot make payment of the same because it is on hold. So if you want to pay the installment, you first need to release the hold. Then only it will be available for payment. So you for releasing, uh, for releasing the hold, you just have to select the installment and click on release hold. Now you can see that hold is not applicable anymore and this installment is available for payment. So this was the concept of split installment, place and release hold. Now. We have also discussed the concept of recalculation of the invoice installment. So how it is done? It is done from the managed invoice option. So for that, we will go to setup and maintenance. Then from task list, go to manage implementation project. Now select your project. Now under task bar, give task manage invoice option.
just go to task. Now here you can see that under invoice entry, recalculate invoice installment is coming. You need to just enable this. It is already enabled in this application. You need to just enable this if it is not enabled so that in, uh, invoice installments, installments get calculated automatically. So this is how you can set the option for recalculation of the installments. So this was all about the invoice installments. Thank you.